Okay. No! Hey guys, so are y'all loving this Flip House series? Can you believe that we are almost done? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey guys, so are y'all loving the Flip House series? Can you believe that we are almost finished? One of the things that we wanted to do was integrate smart technology into this Flip House, so we partnered with Lutron to install their smart plugs and their smart switches in this house. Wasn't that a bright idea? So one specific spot we knew we wanted to integrate these smart switches was our master bedroom. We've got this great little alcove where we're putting the bed and we thought it would be so fun to hang some Corval lights there to serve as bedside table lights. And we've got the how-to for that at the end of this video. Yay! But first, let's talk about some of these smart features. One of our very favorite features about the Lutron Caseta wireless system is all the options that they have to choose from. So not only can you control ceiling lights and wall plugs, but you can also do fan switches, dimmers, and they have really cute plates. I have this wireless system installed in my house and I love it for so many reasons. I love that it works with my Alexa because all I have to say is, Alexa! And then it turns my lights on. Another cool feature is that you're able to schedule your lights to turn on or off at any time. So if you're out of town and you want people to think that you're home, you can have those lights go on. Or if you're coming home from work and don't want to come home to a dark house, you can schedule them to turn on right before you get there. And they also offer an app which is so great because you can plan all of your schedules, you can control everything from that app, it even works with your Apple Watch. Alright, so now let's talk about that bright idea. Jeffrey, show them how to build the sky. We are in the shop today getting these Corval lights built. Ash? The first step is to cut the shape of our Corval. And we have the free printable plans. We are linking them in the description box below. Okay. This is our printable plans. And we have shown you exactly where to make the marks. And then you're just going to connect the dots. So you can see right here, I've already done it on one. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to look exactly like what our plans look like because once you cut one, you're going to use that as your template for the rest of them and that way they're all the exact same when you cut them. I am going to clamp this down and start jigsawing. She's going to get jiggy with it. Alright, now we have our template drawn and we're using our jigsaw to cut out this shape. Okay, I'm just moving this around because this is my only sharp cut right there and I'm going to be able to get that easier if I come from this direction where it's all squirrely. Plus we don't want her cutting our table. True that. Right. One last swoop. Is that the technical term for it? Swoop. Okay. Alright. Scrap piece. Here is our first corbel. I got a little off track right there, so I'm just going to get a little sanding pad to it, and then I'm going to trace it on the other boards. How many more to go? Five. Woo! All right, so now we've got a good template to work with, and we're going to trace it on the rest of the boards, and then we're going to cut all of those out. Yep. All right, what you doing with? All right, I'm just taking my pencil along the beautiful corbel that you've already cut and I'm tracing our next one. I'm actually going to go ahead and draw all these out so that we can whip through these. So there's number two. And I don't know that we mentioned, or if we mentioned, these are 1 by 12 white wood or pine boards. And we just use 1 by 12 as our base. So we're building two corbels with one 1 by 12 because you can cut all the other little scraps from the 1 by 12. Okay, two done. Got those traced. Let me get these done real quick. All right, I've got these traced. Now, two is better than one. So we are going to team up and get the rest of these five cut out. All right, we've got this corbel cut, and now we're using this corbel as our template to cut the other five. So we're lining them up here, and we're going to trace along to make the other five patterns. Go, speed racer, go! <laughs> All right, now we've got six corbels, three for each main corbel light. We're going to cut the middle ones a little bit different to allow a channel for the cord to go through. Alright, so I'm marking right here for the little cutout that we're going to make for this cord to go through. The cord has to be able to run up through here, and then we're going to want to cut this part off right here so that it can run down the back of the corbel and come out the bottom so we can plug it in. And this doesn't matter that much as long as you give it a half of an inch for the cord. 
and we're going to cut this out with the jigsaw on two of these pieces. Ashley, you're such an artist. That's what they call me. <laughs> Actually, I do know how to draw Fred Flintstone. Watch this. <laughs> Bam. Guys. Hi, Fred. She really is an artist. The only thing I can draw. <laughs> and George does. And I can draw George does. <laughs> You're dating yourself. <laughs> Yabba dabba do. All right, so I've got the corbel in place, and I'm going to cut off this half inch piece off the back. So we're saving this piece okay. so that we don't see the cord at all, and then I'm going to cut this piece off completely and just throw it away. Perfect. All right, so now when we sandwich these, we're going to have from the front, you're going to see one big chunky corbel. The cord is going to run through here before we put the final piece on. What a bright idea. All right, so now I finish that middle one, and I'm going to finish the other middle one the exact same way for the second corbel. Okay. So at this point, we should have four pieces that we're using for each corbel. We have our front and back piece, and that's the original pieces that we cut with no extra cuts on them. Then you have your top piece that you already cut off, and you also have a second side piece. And though you should have these four pieces. And now it's time to make a shiny sandwich. The first thing that we're going to do to sandwich these together is start with one layer and we're going to take that other layer with the two separate pieces and we're going to put that on top of that bottom corbel. So the most important thing to remember is that we really want the front to line up as best as possible so that we can really give the effect that we have one piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and add my wood glue. And I'm using one and a quarter inch brad nails with my brad nailer to pop some nails in there. Again, trying to keep it as even as possible. Okay, then we have our top piece right here, and I'm gonna line that up evenly. Go ahead and add my glue right here. Put that in place. Get, make sure my front's even. That's the big, that's the big one. Pop a few nails. And now I'm going to be adding glue to the top oh, of that. We gotta put the cord, or it will never go in. Oh, duh. I okay. made that mistake on the first one I built. <laughs> Can't forget the meat before you put the bread on. Okay, so at this point, now it's the fun part. We get to run that cord through. We will be linking to the lights that we used in the description box, but this is a simple light kit that we will be running through this channel, if you will. And at this point, it really doesn't matter where we put it as long as we have our cord settled in place. Because we'll be able to move it up and down inside that channel. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to add glue right here. It's a great project, Ashley. Oh, so proud of you. At that point, I'm going to pop some nails in, make sure the front is as even as possible. Just make sure that you don't shoot nails through the cord. Through the channel. Okay, now, the magic of this little piece is right here. So cute. I don't want my light that high. No problem. See? Now we gotta add some trim and make it pretty. Okay. So okay. I love this project because you can really design any style of a corbel that you want. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. It can be so modified. I freehand I freehanded this and I'm really not good at freehanding besides like the Jetsons and the Flintstones. <laughs> Because we're using a jigsaw on this, all of our cuts are a little bit off from each other, so we're using a sander so that we can sand it and make it all nice and smooth and even. All right, now we're going to add the trim. The trim is not only gonna be used to make it pretty, but it's also gonna make it sit against the wall really pretty and give a really smooth channel on the backside for that cord. Sweet. So, what's really cool about this project is that if you're building two corbels, you can use one 1 by 12 by 8, and you can get every single piece of wood that you need. Okay. All right, so the weirdest part about this project is that you have to kind of work with it and build it still when the cord's in there. It's kind of weird, but it all makes sense once it's done. So, the first thing that we did, we've cut all of these extra pieces to size from that one by 12. If you don't have a table saw, you can buy a one by two and a one by three, whatever you need according to the plans. But this piece is gonna go on the back. This is the cleat and it's gonna attach to the wall 
and give us something to attach the corbel to the wall with. So we're not attaching that right now, but we do need it while we're attaching the one by two trim. And the one by two trim is cut to the same length as the length of the corbel. So y'all can see what she's doing right here. This piece is not attached. It's just, you, it's just a cleat that we're holding it there with and we're lining it up with that. So we will be attaching this part right here. So we're attaching the one by two trim with our 18 gauge nailer. Really cool. All right, so that one's attached and I'm gonna flip it over. We've got a spot for that cleat against the wall and the cord's gonna run right there. So I'm gonna lay this there again so I have it for reference. Put some wood glue. Let's do the wood glue on the corbel so we don't over wood glue. <laughs> Not that I've ever wood, over wood glued. All right, and you just want it to be flush with that back cleat. Pop some nails. All right, so I'm gonna take this out, save it for later when we're attaching it to the wall. I'm gonna move to the top of it. Cool. We've already cut a piece to size. So now I've put that flush with the front right here and I'm gonna go and add some nails. All right, and that corbel just needs a finish. We're gonna hang it on the wall. With the cleat? Wait, I can't get the cord in there. Okay. It's because your cleat, it's because you're such a go. perfect measurement. So cute. One down, one to go. All right, we got two corbels done. These are going to be so cute on the wall. And the best part about it is that they are gonna work so awesome with those new Lutron devices. Mm -hmm. So let's get a finish on these and then we're gonna take them over to the flip house. We can't wait for you guys to see how awesome they're gonna look on that wall. These sconces look so pretty on this wall and I love that we can turn them off and on without moving a muscle. And everything is connected. This space is so pretty. The homeowners are gonna love that they can control all of their lights without even being at home. So the only thing better than a cute sconce is a smart sconce. That's a bright idea. Alexa! Turn off the lights. And we've got the how-to for that at the end of this video. But Yay! Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! Give oh, him a mic! Still, give him a mic! on! Run away, Whitney! <laughs> One of our... Ah! Mahali! <laughs> that is not bad. He is... is oh! With this stupid mic! Oh, here, sorry. Uh, <laughs> this monitor is gonna be a problem for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's too fun. It's like the Target checkout. <laughs> We're like... Slop, slop. I have this wireless system installed. Are you looking at the camera or the monitor? I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> I was making like eye you contact. Look, you looked like you were looking up, so I was just making sure. Okay, I'm ready. Um, okay, nothing. so I'll talk about the features and then nothing we'll... without you. <laughs> Alexa! Sorry, I just breathed in your face. You didn't. 